4,000 kilometers. 45 days. <laughs> Through snow, rain and 24 hours of daylight. To cross the Arctic Circle and reach the capital of the north. We want to know how cheap we can travel 4,000 kilometers in Norway by only using the concept of Workaway and our social network. Want to know how it went? This week Bye. in the Workaway Bye. Travel Series. Forget about it, big bitch. Dance break. It's, by the way, 2 o'clock in the middle of the night. No darkness. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. supposed to be like a boat with uh, people in it and then it's fish in the ocean down under and it symbolizes like I guess it symbolizes the connection between human humanity and the animals the, the animal world so we are at New Shore now and it is said to be one of the oldest and best preserved fishermen villages in the whole of Norway and it has like a lot of these red fisherman cabins and it's very historical and then it's of course very classical low food and it's like hidden away behind the mountains there's nothing modern so it's just pure vibe pure fisherman village vibe and they even have this like old uh, country store with a lot of old products yeah you're feeling the information you're selling here is um, yeah quite right let me just explain a little bit more. Just a bit, just a little bit. Lusjör is one of the oldest and best preserved fishing villages in Norway and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There have been found traces of people living in Lusjör as far back as 425 before Christ, even though the roads leading to the village was only built 50 years ago. In the old days, Lusjör was home to around 1500 fishermen, some of them living in fishermen houses, which they call in Norwegian Roarbur, and some of them only having a toppled over boat as their shelter. Many of the old buildings related to the fishing industry have been renovated and taken care of. Today, the fish oil factory, old smokery, blacksmith, boat houses and many other buildings make up this historical village, showing you a glimpse of the old Lofoten life. And what did we do in uh, Nusfjord? Well, you know, the usual, we sniffed the culture, the people and the nature and fooled a bit around. Your hair is <laughs> above. Look at that hair. And I tried to stick my head in a dead fish. Why? Um, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Can you zoom in on that name there? Can you see it? Step percent on mother. Mom, I'm going to you. Good is in Norway. From Bustad, they of course gave us some food. We could bring with us. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. So you can see here what we have. It's actually quite a lot. Oh. That was the leftover uh, food from Bustad. We have some 
fruit and vegetables and some spaghetti we're gonna eat tonight. And we also got some oats and waffles we made. So we actually got quite a lot of food and I think we only need to dumpster dive when we get to Bodø or mm -hmm. even maybe further. When we're out of Bodø. Yeah. 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 But it depends because of course this will get warm so we will see how long the food is. Well then we fresh. just have to eat everything when, in once. Yay, but now we're gonna eat dinner <laughs> and that's spaghetti. Spaghetti. I hope you like spaghetti. Sp Sp then we do the dishes manually. What of you mm. with the dinner? Here next to me you can see oh the last village in Lofoten, the tip of the tail. And if you point over there, this way, it's the end of the road. There's the road stops. All right, all right, all right. After some sightseeing in Nusfjord and oh, in the tip of Lofoten, right, you have to follow the road until it stops. And they keep walking for another 40 minutes. Then out of nowhere, there it is. I have to stop these freaking jokes. Oh well, after that we found a random place in O where we had to put up our tent because the time was already after 12. Here you can see me trying to explain about it, but yeah, once again the wind interrupted me. The next morning we took the ferry from Moskenes to Bodø with some pretty nice sightseeing from the boats. Just have a look here. In Bodø we looked after some nature where we had a good fresh walk with a magical red beach appearing from behind the bushes. Where we're gonna hear some interesting Yossa's history hour. We are at the red beach, a little outside of Bodø. It's called Mjelle, the red beach at Mjelle. And it is like right down from the fjell, the mountains. It has this characteristic red color because of the mineral cobalt. It has been washed down from the mountainside here when it rains. And then it goes down in this kind of stream or river. Then it leads down out to the ocean where there's also red marks so it is actually only on rainy days or if it has been raining the few past days like today so it's perfect timing and if we look closer to the stream so sand with small small um, particles of uh, cobalt and that makes the red color thank you Josefina. always good to have some education parts in the episodes instead of bastian pretending to be jim carrey after our explorings at the beach called Miela, we found a random abandoned bus in a field. We're now observing this bus and we're going back to Bodø to find a place to sleep. And we're gonna take it road it, go to bed early tonight. Because I am tired and I have a big headache. Ninja. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, later that day we were looking for a place to put up our tents. And then I ate some of our leftovers which was, yeah of course, spaghetti. We had set our timer at 11 in the night to hike a mountain because we wanted to see the full midnight sun and experience this beautiful piece of nature. Which delivered some stunning footage. hiking on the mountain in the midnight sun and I always need some not mat. It's by the way two o'clock in, in the night but as you can see it's Norway so no darkness in the summer and I need some not mat because I'm sulten but we wanted to keep our food which we still have so we went on a quick dumpster dive tour and <laughs> look what we got. Breads, cheese breads, pudding breads and they're still good. But of course we're gonna taste it and smell it. Yes. Do a test mm. if it's uh, yes. actually feasible. So we're gonna do a taste test and smell test to see if it's actually doable to eat. And an eye test. Look if there's mold. It has probably just been in the bakery uh, 
place in the store and then it's probably a day old and then they had to throw it out. Yeah. Are you gonna taste it? Yes. <laughs> I think I have some nut food, night food, night snack. Not so much. Not so much. And from here, we're saying good night. Good night. We have left Lofoten and continuing our journey down south. This episode we drove from our cabin in Boerstad to Moskenes, where we took the ferry to Bode. And this is what you'll see next week in Workaway Travel Series. Thank you for scaring what? What? <laughs>